Good morning, c**t heels, and welcome to day four of, what is this? Vlogmas! Hello. Pidgey can fly right now, and it's become problematic because Mike is cooking in the kitchen and stuff, and uh, she flies in the kitchen and might land on fire. And I need to trim her wings, and I thought I would bring you along for the wing trimming process. Pidgey is a bit of a whiner. I'm not hurting her at all. It's like a haircut. It's just like weird for them to have their wings touched. So she's gonna be like, no, mom, no, mom. So she's just struggling out of pain just because she's like, I don't like this position. But these are the flight feathers, these long ones. Whenever you trim a bird's wings, you only want to clip the flight feathers not the short ones over here. They still need to be able to fly straight and down. You just don't want them to fly up and that's what gives them the lift. So I'm gonna trim them. One fell swoop. Look at that, oh nice. Look at that, you hate it. And the second set, same thing. Secure the body. You gentle pin the, pin the wing. And then you wanna cut them even so that she doesn't fly in like terrible circles. There you go. That wasn't too bad, baby. Are you mad at me? Are you mad? Okay. <laughs> you look like a bird. Don't yes. Lift your arms up. Snip, snip, snip. snip, 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 snip. <laughs> I like me and the snipers. So your, your special ability is no longer the grapple, it's cloak. Oh shoot, yeah, I was just gonna say, I tried to, I looked yeah, up yeah. there. What are you guys doing? Uh, trying out Titanfall 2. <laughs> and Jeff, you love Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is one of my favorite games. It's wow. fantastic. It just feels like, it feels just really good to play. You wall run all over the place. You can, oh shit. It's like playing as like a ninja constantly, because like your guy can like grapple hook. It's a shooter like Call of Duty, but your guy can like grapple hook and wall run and uh, like double jump and just do and slide and just do all sorts of crazy stuff. Mike, what's your first impression? Uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Need a pen? I need a pen. All right, we're recording audio. Beth, you get loud. Oh, okay. Oh. Dying in a bit in that shell. <laughs> you guys having a chat? I wonder if that diaper is making Ricky second guess his like his strategy here. He's like, I know how to hunt birds, but like birds with tactical vests, that might be worth <laughs> hesitating on. Tactical yeah. vests. Yeah. Ricky doesn't know what a diaper. He doesn't know what a diaper is. No. He's just like that bird's got something up its sleeve. Garris is wearing a bird diaper. And I'm always worried that Garrus now looks like a chew toy for the cat. Oh, I didn't think of that. Uh huh. But he's being real cool. Yeah. <laughs> My mom sent Christmas presents to everybody, and you guys have presents in this box. What? Yeah. What's in the box? Oh, Christmas oh, presents. Oh, glitter. That's like a whole freaking box full of Christmas presents. Is there glitter in it? Yeah. Dana Radloff. Well, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to Jeff and Emily. What? Oh. Oh, that's so nice. Wow. Oh, Dana Radloff, there's glitter on this, and Mike has a phobia. You have a phobia. I hate glitter. Oh. Can't open it now, though, can we? What? I definitely want to get a tree, and then maybe we could. Maybe you guys could open it once we have a tree. Okay. And then we could all sit around the Christmas tree and open, open gifts. For oh, a teaser yeah. then. This is a teaser. It, it's, what, it's whatever you want, I guess. Yeah. This is your vlog. I mean, Emily's mad. Emily wants. She, she always she wants, wants me to tell her what her present is, though. What'd you give me for Christmas? I can't tell you. I think my mom should actually run a business where she wraps people's presents. because They're she's fun. Oh, yeah. So That's a lot better than I could do. These are beautiful. Present. Yeah, they are. We should just never open them and just get a tree and... You want a tree so bad. I want a tree now, yeah. Convince Jeff that we need a tree. He won't get a tree. He's like, oh, it's too much work. It's, it's too much effort. All the needles. Do you love the camera, Rick? I, sorry. Every wow. time I give it the camera, you immediately <laughs> went, go down and start filming the cat. Immediately. Yeah, well. This tree is only a one season thing, man. Yeah, well, what? Admit it. This tree. Glitter hand to you. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fresh 
place. I just spent the last couple hours editing and uploading yesterday's vlog because that was the only time I had to do it and I gotta get better at doing it earlier. We're about to head over to our friends Mark, Ben, and Greg's apartment and watch the finale of Westworld, which I'm so excited about. I'll take you along. You can come enjoy it with us. We're late. Okay, okay, I'm coming. There he is. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Look what Mark just sent me. What is that? Hot cocoa? This was making hot cocoa Oreos. Oh. Let's, let's go to Greg's pad. Let's go to Greg's house. That's what you want to do? I'm just going to get you. Focus <laughs> Hello. Hello. It feels a little slow. I, I yawned a couple times, but I am tired. I'm not saying it's slow. I'm just I saying am. that it's... <laughs> you know, sometimes I say things and I don't think that you understand what I actually mean. It's called being in a relationship. Since I don't know how clear it was in the car, I wanted to reiterate my thoughts about Westworld. I think that show does a great job telling a story with symbolism and imagery and cinematography. But often I think that it's lacking in its script. It just says very grandiose things that are super obvious and a way to hit you over the head with their meaning. You know, for instance, the line, I thought I was looking for you this whole time, but in actuality, I was looking for myself is unironically spoken. But that doesn't take away the fact that there is a lot of really delicious science fiction and Western tropes and ideas to peel away from that show. I enjoy it a lot. I think I would enjoy it more if I didn't have a group of friends that were like so intelligent and so critical of what they watched. You ever feel like sometimes just like, uh, you wanna be ignorant, you wanna just enjoy it for what it is and not try to figure it out. And I feel like that about Westworld, to a degree. There's a lot that I like figuring out, but also, I'm okay letting some of it go. I'm okay letting some loopholes exist with that show. I think the show would be better if it did not have those loopholes, but I don't think it's bad because it does. It's worth watching, if you don't mind some gore and a lot of nudity. Oh my god, the nudity. Everybody looks pretty good though, am I right? Oh, It's late. It's time for me to sit down and edit this and do some other work. I'm probably gonna end up pulling an all-nighter tonight because I had too much fun this weekend. <laughs> Thanks for watching Vlogmas. I hope if you were having a crappy day, I could make it a little bit better. And I will see you tomorrow.